Hey guys, it's Lori. I just wanted to pop in and I wanted to share a package that I just got out of the mailbox. I have been impatiently waiting for this because I'm so excited for a cute new project. So, um, this is from Wizardy or Wizardy or it's, it's like wizard with an I at the end dot com and not sure how you pronounce it. And I was enabled by Dazzle Driller uh, when I saw her working on a project in her stories uh, the last couple of weeks. And so I popped over to check out what they had um, that I might like to do. So I wanna share this with you. I've already cracked it open so you don't have to see me struggle. And it, it, this package, uh, I ordered it last Monday, July 27th, and it arrived today, August 3rd, uh, so it's exactly a week to get to me. So, but it is one of their wooden charms. They have several different kinds. They're so cute. Dazzle Driller was working on a, um, uh, like a dream catcher type one that had a, the ornament and I had like things hanging down from it. It was so adorable. She even added beads to the little strings. So, but I went over and I fell in love with the love bat and he's just so stinking cute. And he reminds me of a character in a book called Gooseberry Park by Cynthia Ryland. I read that book with my daughter when I homeschooled her in like first, second, or third grade. And we fell in love with the characters. And one of the characters is a little bat named Murray who loves to eat. And I think there was a picture of him carrying an Oreo in the older version of that book. Uh, they have done an update with updated illustrations and things, but the older book was like a black and white little drawing of him, I think, carrying an Oreo. So this reminded me of that and it brought back good memories. And so I wanted to get this and do it. So he what he is $7.29 and uh, I believe he's still in stock as of now. And I, I'm hoping that I love doing this because they have Christmas ones and I think they would make such fun gifts to give. So I'm gonna give this one a try. So, but it does, on the back, it tells you everything that it's going to come with. And it, the wooden panel, the bag with sparkles, adhesive layer, tools for completion, instructions, magnet, and a holder, so. Excellent. Let's get these out here. He has five colors and instructions in several different languages. So there's your how-to guide. And this is their name. It's wizard with an I. All right. And here's all our pieces. So excited. I cannot wait to do this. I may just have to drop everything and do it. All right. Oh, here's your wooden charm with the grid. And then here is the adhesive layer uh, that you match up. I must have it turned. There we go. So that you have your adhesive. And then here are your five colors in little baggies. It is square drills. These look really, really nice. I don't even see a knobbly bit anywhere in sight. Huh, they look very nice. And then we've got the toolkit with some extras. We got your basic pen, your basic tray, your basic wax, a magnet so you can turn him into a magnet by placing that on there. And string, if you wanna make him into an ornament. And then, oh, these things, let's see. Looks like it fits right in there. Okay, so a little stand. So if you wanna just stand him up. Oh, how cute. Look, he just stands. 
that is adorable. Oh, I just can't wait to do him <laughs> and put him together. But now the decision, do I make a magnet, put him on a stand, or turn him into an ornament? Or all three? That's possible. All right. Well, have you all ever done a wooden ornament? What one did you do if you did one? Did you like it? Would you do it, do it again? Hmm. I'm excited. So, uh, watch my Instagram. I'm sure I'll be sharing the progress of, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call him Murray. He, the little love bat. And, uh, I'm sure I'll be sharing it on there. Uh, and, um, probably on my TikTok too. Everything is one fun diamond painter, just like here on YouTube. So, well, thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you get to do a little diamond painting.